Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. I'm Melissa and here are our top stories. Spanish company Acciona Energia has commissioned its red-tailed hawk photovoltaic plant in Houston, Texas. The plant is expected to generate enough electricity annually to meet the power demands of approximately 66,500 homes. It is the company's first renewables project in North America. Aconia Energia is building a 280 megawatt wind farm in Alberta, Canada and a 325 megawatt peak photovoltaic plant in Ohio. Pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly has announced an additional $5.3 billion investment in the 600-acre campus in Indiana, making it the largest outlay in the United States history for synthetic medicine API manufacturing. The investment will boost the production of its injected terzepatide products, Monjuro for type 2 diabetes and Zepbound for obesity. The project is thought to create more than 5,000 construction jobs and when completed, the complex will employ 900 workers. An agreement has been signed for Poland's first floating LNG terminal in the port of Gdansk. Gaz Systems and the Port of Gdansk and the Maritime Office of Gdynia have signed agreements to partner on the floating LNG terminal. It will contribute to diversifying Poland's natural gas supply sources and assist with over 30% of the country's demand. The first shipments are expected to enter the port in 2028. Enfinium, one of the UK's largest waste to energy companies, has committed to using carbon capture technology to achieve net zero by 2033. The company's net zero transition plan will deploy carbon capture storage across its facilities with four online units and two currently under construction. By 2039, the company plans to remove 1.2 million tonnes per year of CO2 and transition to a carbon removal business. New South Wales might be the new Australian home for a 500 megawatt wind project by Mainstream Renewable Power and Samiva Renewables. It will be one of the first wind farms hosted in a state plantation forest after New South Wales passed amendments to the Forestry Act of 2012, allowing state forests to host renewable energy projects in 2021. Dubbed the Sunny Corner Project, investigations are underway to determine the suitability of the environment while consulting with local communities, First Nation people, forest users, councils and businesses. Finally, Scientists at Cornell University have designed a cloaking technique that could allow the repurposing of antibodies for biological research or therapeutic applications. This technique would cloak proteins, enabling them to be captured by lipid nanoparticles like tiny bubbles of fat. These bubbles are small enough to allow the protein to enter the living cells undetected before uncloaking and exerting their therapeutic effect. The team had this idea based on the successful approach used with lipid nanoparticles for the COVID-19 vaccinations. And that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.